Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another one of the Hero Academy 2 videos. I should say at the beginning that this video is also sponsored by Robot Entertainment. In this video, we're going to be talking about the campaign on the Warden's side. So, I decided to do an entire video just on the Wardens. The last video was all about the Council and the Dark Elves, um, because both the Council and the Dark Elves are still kind of ramping up to sort of basic stuff. Um, the Wardens, on the other hand, gets into a little bit more advanced of techniques. I would say that if you're looking to play one of the more advanced decks, it's going to be the Wardens. Uh, the Dark Elves have are probably the most powerful, in my opinion, and you can do a lot of really cool stuff with it, but that's because I really haven't unlocked everything that I needed to for the Wardens. The Wardens have a really, really cool amount of things. Obviously, all the decks are balanced, but your, uh, your style of play becomes a little bit more intricate when you go up to the Wardens. So, in the campaign itself, the first two are basics on the wardens themselves like the first one is about kind of with shields and and how the how the wardens take over the entire board at least do things that affect the entire board um the second one is mana maker which happens to do with uh there's a couple there's a couple heroes and buildings that the wardens drop that actually just feed them mana is the the more and more they're alive which means uh if you don't kill it in time the the person, the owner, playing in the Wardens are just going to have tons and tons of mana to just play with forever. So it kind of keeps you busy. Um, for this campaign, we're going to be playing with the Dark Elf starter deck. Because I feel it's one of the most effective against the Wardens. Simply because the fact that, yeah, you have these buildings that are, that are going to be up and trying to soak up uh, basic uh, mana and stuff like that from you. So, in order to get rid of that, might as well just poison them, because even if you can't reach them, you can still do damage to them. So, with this, we're going to have a little bit of a more, more strategic plays. As you can see, we're more on an even playing field this time, so we do have to be careful. Um, how we drew this. We have a Phantom and a Spiderling. Those are both going to be played here. We'll play them each on, on each other's sides. We're actually going to play this one further up. And this one staggered because if this one goes down it will okay this is not the same one but if this one goes and gets hit it will poison enemies that that hit it and if we keep this one up it won't act hopefully the uh the cpu won't target him uh, we want to keep him up to block aid uh some of the some of the heroes coming in so these are kind of pawns the phantoms um, but when they die, there are there are some weird things that happen later on with, with other phantoms and stuff like that, which is nice. Uh, we're going to hold on to the Impaler because the Impaler does damage to everything, which would be nice if these didn't have shields on them right now. What we're going to do at this very moment is we're going to bring in a Gurgle Pot. Obviously, you know that the Gurgle Pot explodes and does damage to everything around it, so we have to be very careful with how we place that when it's, when it's going to die. What we're going to do at this very moment in time is actually try to get rid of these shields. Um, we're gonna get them up close, see if we can get them close enough to be able to do something with. Um, can't do anything with this, so we're just gonna leave him here. Actually, we're gonna bring up a phantom as well. So, we have four on the board. I, I'm imagining at least two of them are gonna get dusted right away, so I'm, four on the board's fine right now. Um, we definitely have it weighing in our favor, which is nice. This guy's, this guy's a little bit of a, of a tough guy. Um, he took one off the bat, which is nice, um, and we don't have anything that has three health, so putting that out for them is probably a, an interesting idea. I don't know if that's going to work out for them. However, they did get two, which is, that's a little bit of the problem. Um, he's down, he's down. That's not bad. Let's see, we can dust both of them as, well, actually, you know what? They're both dead because they're poisoned. I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, we'll bring out the Void Monk, though. The Void Monk has a swipe, so he's actually going to be a huge battle against two other players. Hopefully, or two other heroes, rather. Hopefully, we can get him to uh, to get up close with a couple of them. Um, we're going to get these shields down in the back. Because it, it only takes one damage. This guy only does one damage, so no use in actually going straight for the crystals, as it's just going to be the same as going after these shields. And uh, we can get somebody with a higher amount of damage over there to uh, hopefully dust them. If we find a hammer person, that's going to be great. Especially something with smash. It's going to be perfect for us. This is kind of a problem. We did um, 
We did sort of create an issue there with uh, with the obstacle, but I don't think that's too bad of a problem. Um, here comes a bow person, which is going to be nice for us too. We'll bring him. We'll bring him up one because I think that's just out of range. We can poison him, keep him getting damaged, and uh, uh, yeah, we can bring him in and swipe them both. Cool. Oh, we can't swipe them both. They have to be adjacent. But uh, nonetheless, it is there, and if they summon anything around it, we're in good shape. This wolf's probably not even going to get close enough to even do anything. It's actually probably... Oh, no! They got the healing rain. Okay, healing rain is great. So, as I said, the wardens do board-wide things. So, it should have affected everything. Neither one of these were damaged, so you didn't see that happen. But, uh, if they were, it would have actually healed us, too. So, that's why I said playing the wardens is a lot more intricate. Because you don't want to do things like that when they heal your, your uh, ally or your enemy heroes as well. Um, so being very careful with those things are, are gonna be key. Uh, we'll bring another phantom in. Phantoms come really easily, so that's that's really nice for us. We have three. We're actually gonna save it. And... Mm, he doesn't have anything that we need. We're gonna actually bring this one up. So he's almost dead. Let's take out the wolf. That's gonna do one damage, which means he's dead next time. Oh, the swipe's there too, so he's dead anyway. No worries. All right, good. No need for the Dust Devil. Uh, we'll just keep the three mana and draw another card. Sylvant. This guy's the... He's a, he, he's one of the only cards I've seen in a long time, looking through all of them, that has no minimum range. He can attack anybody anywhere. So, well, not anywhere. He does have a maximum range. Or, yeah, maximum range. But for the most part, he can just keep going. And that's actually very dangerous. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna swipe this, obviously. He's gonna keep attacking. So we're gonna just get, gonna keep working on the crystal. It's not gonna do anything else other than that. Um, the Tome Crawler is what we want up, but we want this up in a way where he'll attack him. So we'll use our- we'll use a couple mana for that to get him poisoned, but let's see if we can bait him up. It's not gonna happen this turn. So that's three. He's going to go down to two. Yep, there it is. Um, because of his range. So now he's now he's mad. Uh, he's probably going to die next turn. Yeah, he's probably dead next turn. So, then rage is not going to do anything for us. But, we couldn't have done anything about it anyway. But now he's down to two. That's good. Especially because we can't reach him now, we want to be able to take him out as fast as possible. He's very dangerous in the back, but he came up for some reason. Oh, he took that guy out. I see. I understand now. Um, well, then what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy out. Use our, our frail dude over here. Don't care about him. He's actually good to be sacrificed anyway. Um, we will trap him in. That way he's forced to attack there. And if he kills this thing, which he's not going to... Uh, he'll be able to, uh, he'll be able to give power to somebody else. We'll take this guy. We're not gonna kill him. We actually want to keep him alive right there. Um, uh, until we, until we don't have to anymore. Um, this is a good idea to just drop now. It's gonna do damage to everything, so take out our archer. But it's also gonna take out that crystal and totally ruin our plan there. I realize that. Um, I did that because we needed somebody else to be doing damage up here anyway. So, we're just gonna have that happen. It probably wasn't the best move, but it will do the job because we're going to go all out on them. We're, we're obviously way ahead of them, and we're just going to go on the full offensive. Okay, so there's the death. Now she has that. That's that's more or less what I wanted anyway, so we're, I'm not really too too disappointed with that move. We're going to bring her... We're going to bring her over, I think. He's got two left. We get the three if we damage here. Um... But we take one damage, too. We do want to be careful with that. He can't do much. So he's just going to die next turn anyway. Okay, not next turn, but the t but, but soon enough. Ah. If we do this, they're, they're dead, right? Oh, we got crystal damage on that. That's not bad. So one left. She'll die on, uh, on the next poison. Unless she gets healed. Never mind. But she can't really do much to us anyway. We're going to take one damage. That's not really anything. Especially because we're about to put some, some healing on. 
Um, we're gonna poison her again. We're gonna come up and we're gonna try to dust this crystal as fast as possible. This, this, while, while I thought this was gonna be a problem, it's actually really beneficial to us. Because while we're in this corner, anybody that has to get to us has to probably make two moves to even get there. So that's actually really solid. Um, if he heals again, we're in trouble, so we're just gonna kill him. There's the bowman. Now all we have to deal with is the stoneling, which isn't too much of a problem, although... Uh, her her eulogy actually made that a little bit harder, but I think we'll be okay. The Stoneling's probably going to come up and damage the crystal, um, but that's just going to bring it closer to us being able to do damage to him. Oh, there's that. Yeah, I should have known that was going to happen. That's okay. Um, we'll drop a poison on him, and we'll drop a. Let's see what do we have? Three. Okay. Deal one damage to a random enemy on the deck limit force. That's one damage there. He'll be dead. So we're just going to kill him. Or that works too. Crystals work as enemies. So. He's still alive. We can do one next turn. He's probably going to do another three. Which brings this crystal down to three. That's not a problem. Or brings it down to five. Oh, he's got the upgrades. Okay. Alright. Alright. I understand. I get it. I get it. I get it. We're going to play the hard way. He's dead. Didn't want to deal with that. Now he's still alive, so we're good. We're good. We brought the big guy out. Why did he do that? What happened? Did he just heal? Interesting. Okay. We're going to poison him anyway. That actually didn't matter. Just the use of mana. I second-guessed myself. I was going to just go around him, but I decided to kill him anyway. We've got Necromancer Merrix coming up in this deck. This That's game over, essentially. Uh, if we get Necromancer Merrix up, then we've got chains. We've got chain lightning for days. It's, it gets game's over. So, but as we have it here... The damage is going to keep coming. At least it's going to attempt to keep coming. So what we're going to have to do is probably... Um, damage. Well, we can bring one up. Which would be a decent use. But then we... Then our crystal's in trouble. So we're going to do that. We're going to... Oh, he's dead. I see. Alright, we're going to come this way. We're going to go towards the crystal. We want to get this. It's one hit on it. I want to hit on the crystal when we have it. Here comes the healing. So healing's actually going to... Well, it would have helped us, but... Not today. Oh, they're sacrificing. Aha. Uh -huh. Smart. It's smart. It's smart, because they knew what I was doing. And now... Got one left. Here comes the retaliation, which is bad for them. Um, poison's here. Here we go. Here's the phantom. On a knockout. And... If we hit it three times, we'll be good. But right now, we're not in the best shape. Let's go ahead and retreat a little bit and do some damage. Okay. On, in hindsight, it would have been better to poison this one, but... What happens, happens. This guy's dead anyway. So now we're back to um, a little bit of an offset even field or uh, offset playing field, and we don't have much going on here, so we're actually going to discard. Um, this guy's coming up. Uh, what we want to do is we want to block this guy in so he can't come forward. Uh, after we, well, we'll poison this guy because we're just going to take this guy out, no problem. Do two. We still got four. So this guy's basically a tank. He doesn't do much damage, but he will. He will tank a lot of damage. This guy's still poisoned. See if we get a heal up. No, he's going to get a Terminus. Terminus is going to be our biggest issue at the moment. If we can get three damage on the thing in the back, we're in good shape. But it doesn't look like that's going to be very easy. Um, he can do f six damage. Or he can do five damage. We need six. Let's see if we can bait out this. We'll give him an extra damage. We'll have to... This one's dead if we do it that way. We do one damage. That's not great. We're going to stay right here. Weak. 
That's the wrong guy. Okay, that's okay. Um, let's see if we can get him around. Yeah, that's not the right way either. Okay, um, they're already poisoned, so that's okay. Get the wolf pup up. Probably gonna sacrifice. Go down to two, so he dies. We're not, we're, we're out of the woods. Uh, and then we can get this guy over here. And, uh, he's probably gonna get attacked, but... We're back to we're back to being even again, so it's all good. Plus, we got rid of the 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 problem child, essentially. We still have fist of the gods. We're not going to get enough mana for that, but it is still there. There's a heal. Okay. So soul stab deal two pierce damage to a damaged hero. So he'll be dead if we do it that way, which we should do anyway. Um, let's go ahead and we'll discard this. There we go. War Sister's up. We'll get her. That way we have somebody in. If we can get her toward... Toward this, uh... This crystal over here, we're in great shape. Because it's just one hit from this from this lady and we're, we're in. I, I will take the damage for that crystal. Well, it's a good sacrifice. So, one... Two, and we're in. Let's go ahead and deal one damage to a random enemy. Cool. We'll poison... He's got smash. Well, he's got one smash, right? Yeah, one smash. That's the same damage as that. So we'll go ahead and do that. And, uh... Destroy a poisoned enemy. We don't have four mana. We could grab four mana. But it does three crystal damage. I don't really feel like taking that. Because he's going to do smash damage anyway. All we need to do is just survive this turn. Which we will. There's the mana piece. So this is the building that we were talking about last time. But it doesn't matter. We got him. No problem. Again, uh, some risky moves. Some moves that don't necessarily work uh, in a more dangerous situation, but it was a way for us to show a lot of cool things that happened in this campaign. If you like the campaign or you have any questions on maybe you're stuck in a certain position and uh, it didn't go the way you saw in the video, please leave a comment and ask. I will do my very best to answer your questions. I think this game has a lot of cool stuff going on and has a lot of intricacies. So if you have any questions, if you have any problems, just go ahead and shoot them at me. I'll do my very best to answer the questions. Uh, if you liked the video, please actually like it on YouTube. It does help. And let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you like to. And, you know, give a shout out to the Robot Entertainment people. S tell them how much you do like the game and, and maybe how good of a job we did here on the video. If you guys like this, once again, I will see you guys next time in the next video.